be doing is I'm going to be using some garlic. Um, now I have mixed my own blend up of Italian seasoning and some Parmesan cheese. Um, we have onions chopped up, lentils for later. I've got some mozzarella or Swiss. I'm sorry, and it's and you can do however if you want it shredded. Like I've got some cold Colby back Jack cheese back there shredded, and so I mean you can kind of add your own if you want or provolone or whatever. Um, I have some chicken bouillon. Now I I did a cup here, and then I've got um, some diced tomatoes. And then for the start of the show, I have bacon we're going to be adding. And then I'm going to be using, now I did two piece, two different types of chicken here. So um, I have chicken breast. And then we're going to be using chicken thighs because they were on sale. And so I'm going to make those work. And we're going to begin. Okay, so as you can see. I have um, a filleted chicken breast and um, and I've cleaned it up a little bit and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I fillet my chicken breast and I know many of you do and it's not anything that has to be like just spot on but you can kind of just clean it up cut the fat around it and everything and if you ever fillet a fish you're going to kind of do it the same way so what I'm doing is, is I'm looking for the fatty part of the chicken breast because like I want to cook this kind of fast because I'm wrapping bacon around it so I, I want to make sure all of it's cooked at the same at the same heat level so what I'm doing is is I'm turning the fat side in towards the blade and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look for the middle and I'm gonna gently open the middle up like that and then I'm just gonna go down now be careful I mean you gotta use a really sharp knife to do this and as you can see all I'm doing is is I'm just cutting the center down and filleting it open. And I, it's what you call butterflying. And see, so if you do that, that's fine. Don't get upset. You just kind of just fix it. No harm, no foul. See, and now you have two pieces. You just cut it, finish cutting it, okay? And see how this is really thin? All right, and then this is still a little fatty, so I'm going to fix that. So what I've done is, is that I have a Ziploc bag, okay, and I am going to put it inside my Ziploc bag, and I have, now you can use a mallet or whatever you have, but I am going to use my, cat, my stainless steel heavy pan. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to pound it flat. That's all we're doing. And so we can ever, everybody can be the same consistent. Got any anger issues? Work them out. <laughs> all right. Very thin, very flat. And you're like, why? Well, I want to make sure I get all my chicken cooked because I'm going to wrap it with bacon. And I'm going to do another one the same way. And I want to make sure everybody's got the same consistency. You're like, oh, that's a lot of work. Well, this recipe can be a lot of work. It can be a high-end a high -end meal or it can be a low-end meal. Um, you're probably like, what do you mean the difference between a high-end meal and a low-end meal? Well, with the, red, with the ingredients that I'm using, you can actually um, spruce this up a little bit with a um, little wine in the sauce. Um, you can upgrade your cheese to provolone, uh, gouda. I mean, you can kind of get a little fancy with this. And so it all depends on how you want to serve it and what you're serving it with. But today, I'm going to show you my way. my way of doing my ch uh, Italian chicken and I'm just going to kind of do it in the middle here and uh, I'm going to add a little wine to my sauce today but you don't have to do that and my sauce is going to or my wine is going to be a um, Zinfandel a white Zinfandel that I had left over I'm wanting to get use it I'm 
I'm wanting to use it so it doesn't go bad. So, and I just usually cook it down in the sauce. Okay, now that was white meat. Now I'm going to be using um, some thighs too because I had store had had them on sale. So I'm the type that you know I want to make it work. So I've rinsed these off and I've cleaned them up a little bit and I took the bone out of them. They weren't boneless. So that being said, they go in the Ziploc and they're going to get pounded. And I've cut them up and flayed them out a little bit. See, and some of them still need a little bit. Cleaned up a little bit. And I will tell you, uh, the darker meat is always fatter. It's, I like it. It's not an issue for me. I just clean it up a little bit. Don't forget to put bacon on it so it's all going to get cooked together. fingers Now I have used prosciutto with this before and it's really nice. Uh, but I forgot to pick it up so I've been using bacon. And prosciutto you don't you can wrap it, but I just put it on the back end and I just kind of saute it on there. Like just kind of skewer it on. beat this down with a rolling pin before too so whatever works okay and I think it's flat enough yeah right, I'm gonna clean up my mess alright okay so what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna take some bacon you see that? Okay. And I'm gonna start with my my white meat first. So it's my chicken breast. And I like to do it like this. Um, you can do it however you want. Whoops. You can do it however you want. And you can kind of just like roll it in and tuck it. However suits you. Now, give me just a second. I gotta turn my skillet off. Gotta make sure my skillet's getting ready. Now with prosciutto, I would just stick it on the back end, I would press it on with a fork, and then I would take this end and I would flip it over onto the skillet, and then I would sear it first. This is a little bit of work, but it's really good. And you can make smaller pieces if you wanted to. Okay, 
So I put a little olive oil on the bottom here. I want that flavor, and then I'm going to just start adding my chicken. Okay, I'm going to add some of my little uh, thighs over here to this other pan. So get everybody cooked brown. Not to play with it too much, which I always do, but uh, try to not move it as much because then the bacon, of course, comes off. Okay, I'm going to clean up for a few minutes. I'll be right back. Okay, so now we're going to start flipping the chicken and see what it looks like. Oh, yeah. Starting to get a golden brown to it. This will not be a little too far right here. Oh, these are great. I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit on that one. Alright, they're cooking right along. They're looking good. Very pretty. Okay, so what I've done is, is that, um, okay, so this pot is for my lentils. So I've had this going and boiling for a little bit. And I've added some bacon into it to give it some flavor. And then I'm going to rinse my lentils off. And then I'm going to add it here shortly. And I'm going to stick some chicken bouillon in it, and it's got the uh, bacon in it, and to give it the lentils some flavor. So I have my lentils rinsed and ready, and I'm going to uh, stick a little bit of olive oil in it as well, and then I'm going to get my chicken bouillon on. And I just have a teaspoon, so I'm just going to add like 
Uh, about a couple, two, about three. They're really good. You rinse them just like other beans before you use them. And this was a cup of lentils. Boil, this needs to come to a boil. This needs to simmer for a while. Lots of flavors. Just a little bit of that. I don't believe so. I'm going to saute the um, onions and the bacon and chicken grease. And I'm going to just sweat them down. Okay. I have my heat turned down to a medium. And I'm going to turn it down just a tad more. And I'm not going to add my, my garlic in this because I do not want my garlic to burn. I'm not looking for that flavor. I'm looking for more of a, of a blended type flavor. So I'll show you what I mean. Alright, so I have my onions are, uh, sweat down. And then I'm going to add chicken broth, and I have about a cup, okay? Now I'm going to heat everything back up again, turn it back up to a little bit of medium heat. Now I'm going to be adding my diced tomatoes, juice and all. Now this is where I'm going to be adding my garlic and my parmesan and all my seasonings of my herbs. My granule garlic. My seasonings, which is my Italian herbs and so forth. And my Parmesan cheese. Now I'm going to get this back up to a nice heat. It's not going to be boiling, we're just simmering, and we're just getting all... Now you can like definitely use a, a heavy cream in this, and I mean you can do all kinds of things with this sauce. The only thing I did not have was a basil leaf. Swiss to this one. Um, I change it up every so often in mozzarella, provolone, but today I'm going to do Swiss because it's what I have. And then I'm going to use some Kobe Jack cheese. Yeah, this, this is not a light dish. You can make it a light dish, but it's not a light dish. And, uh, I've, I've, I like to change up a little bit to different flavors of cheeses, just to see, you know. My favorite is the provolone. Um, I love mozzarella because it's creamy. 
And the Swiss, I like the Swiss too. I like them all. <laughs> oh, it just depends on your preference. seasoning. I got a little basil. A little basil. Just kind of give it a little touch. Now this goes in the oven for about 30 minutes with a lid on. At 30 minutes. 